Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Matrus Travel. I'm Matru and today I'm in Bologna in Italy. And today I'm gonna show you three things in Bologna you can see on a day trip. So, uh, place number one, I'm on Piazza Maggiore. So it's like the main plaza you can say. I'm also right in front of the famous Palazzo da Curcio. I hope I say it right, but all the names are here anyway. It's basically one of the biggest palaces here in Bologna. Bologna is also quite full with palaces and villas, so there's a lot to see. You can spend a whole day just um, seeing the palaces. But anyway, there's way more here on the plaza to see. Like right behind me, there's the Neptune fountain. It's being cleaned right now, but you can see it right here. And also like behind the palazzo or the palace, there's like a small old town square. It's actually really nice, it's not too big. There are like some shops and some boutiques there and it's I think a quite nice place to see. Also like here on the plaza during the summertime, you can see um, an outdoor cinema. They have that and as far as now it's for free. So if you want to learn a bit of Italian, you can watch movies here. I think they also have sometimes English movies, which is quite nice. Also here there is the tourist office and two more um, palaces. This one here is the Palazzo Rienzo and behind it there is the Palazzo del Podesta. So there are two more. And there's also something else very special here. It's the uh, cathedral or basilica. It's the Basilica di San Petronio. So if you just look at it, it looks a bit unfinished. So basically they wanted to make it in the same style like the Duomo in Milano. But to make it short, they run out of money and so it's not fully finished. So it looks a bit strange, which is kind of cool in a way. So I not gonna, I don't think they will ever finish it. It will stay like this. The inside is also really interesting. I can't show you any pictures of the inside because you have to pay if you want to show anything. But it's a really cool basilica. Also, there is um, here there's an arcade with a lot of restaurants you can see. And like this main plaza is actually really cool. And also there is a street here you can go to. I'm going there right now. It's right beside the plaza. On the street you have um, kind of like the it's like the Hollywood uh, Walk of Fame. They're like famous Italian artists. They put the star of them there with the name, which is really cool to see. I don't know any of them to be honest, which uh, I'm a bit ashamed, but they're gonna Google their names anyway because there is a reason why they got the star on the walk. So, and let's go there. <laughs> so, and here we are. So there is the, the two other palaces. And here I'm walking on the street is the Via Degli Orifici. I hope I say it right. It's like right here. And here are the stars. So. So basically it goes on and on and on and if you are interested into Italian artists I think it's a nice place to see. And yeah this was place number one. Let's go to place number two. So and we are already at the second place. It's a little bit busy here so sorry about the noise but basically it's really close to the big plaza. The plaza is basically in this direction. You just have to walk straight. So and here we have like one of the famous landmarks of Bologna. It's like these two towers here. So it's like the highest tower in Bologna. It's around 96 meters high. 
and uh, both of the towers are actually leaning the smaller one like quite a lot the bigger one just a little bit you can't really see it too much it really depends on the angle you look at and the history of them is quite incredible so like in the 12th century Bologna had quite a lot of rich families and they built around 180 towers they're not sure how many towers there were exactly but they say it's around 180 nobody really knows why they did it but there are like two theories so theory number one is that they basically did it for defending themselves and the family which makes a bit of sense but still 180 towers is quite a lot and theory number two is that they just wanted to show their wealth so they wanted to show who can build a bigger one um, which is quite funny in a way so yeah these are like the two main theories uh, on that unfortunately many of the towers got destroyed many of them simply just um, well fell over and some of them had to be destroyed to make space for streets and new buildings and so on and nowadays there are less than 20 towers still existing we can still see them in the city which is quite nice so this was place number two and let's get to go to place number three so and we are at the third place it's the Arco Bonacorsi the name is here again because you know my Italian is not the best anyway so this arcade is special because it's uh, the longest arcade in the world it's three and a half kilometers long and it's going from the end of the old town at the Port Saragossa um, which is like the last remaining ancient city gate um, from there you can just walk through the gate and you can see already the entrance to the arcade and from there you can walk all the way up to to the sanctuary of San Luca now you can see it's being renovated at this part already because you know it's so long and uh, they always renovate part by part by part I think the last renovation was 2017 as far as I know and basically it got built to protect people who want to walk to the uh, sanctuary uh, from the weather and uh, like Bologna is a special city in this kind of way simply because a lot of the sidewalks in Bologna actually have arcades so when you go to the city center um, you don't need an umbrella when it's raining because you're always protected by an uh, arcade ah, here we are at a place that is already restored okay anyway where was I? Ah, yeah. so the reason behind it is simply because um, the rich people in the past like Bologna had a lot of rich fam families they wanted to make the houses bigger and bigger and bigger and they wanted to extend them um, on the sidewalks but the city already knew like how important sidewalks uh, will be for the future and they already were so they declined it and said no you can't extend it so what happened then they had an idea on how they can extend the houses and keep the sidewalks so instead of um, extending the ground floor they just extend the first floor so they kind of like build an arcade over the sidewalks and you can see like there's an arcade here an arcade there an arcade everywhere so you can imagine how many houses actually build arcades just so you can extend further um, and it makes the city like quite unique I don't know of any other city in the world who has so many arcades like Bologna so that's like the one big thing that makes Bologna stand out of all the other cities so here you can see three and a half kilometers ah, you can also see the city stadium and there's an airplane so there's also like, like the airport right behind there 
which is quite nice. So yeah, this arcade is like the third place you can see. Um, I said it's quite a walk, but I think it's quite interesting in itself because where else do you have that? And cool. Okay, I'm gonna have a bit of a water in the west because I'm dead. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.